Okay, so for our two-year anniversary, my wife and I decided to get each other some gifts. And she very generously got me this um, Walther's um, HO Scale GP151 CSX locomotive, and uh, which is very cool. So for a while, I've been wanting a new locomotive uh, to do some testing on for my future uh, HO Scale layout. And this is a very budget-friendly one that's uh, perfect for the task. So naturally, I decided to, t to take it apart and do some reverse engineering in uh, BigClive.com fashion. Look him up. And uh, this is what I discovered on the inside. Now, somewhat annoyingly, um, in the manual, it says that there's enough uh, length on these wires here feeding the front LED to be able to comfortably set the... Um, the uh, to, to set this on the table, but clearly that's not really the case. You can kind of do that, but there's still a lot of tension on this joint here. So I, I don't really like that, but uh, I'm going to be at, probably end up redoing all of this anyways. So uh, that's, it's not a huge deal, but it's just a minor annoyance. Um, but anyways, this is what's on the inside. So we are greeted by this PCB here. Now this locomotive has directional lighting so when it's going forward the front uh, LED will come on and the back LED will stay off and vice versa for reverse so that's what this uh, board right here is handling now um, what exactly is going on here so I, I decided to draw out a schematic of the board and this is what I came up with now what we have here are the pickups on the wheels so there's um, pickups on the front wheels of each truck. So there's pickups here on these wheels and pickups on these wheels, which is kind of nice. So uh, you're, you're able to get um, um, electrical connectivity um, on both ends of the locomotive, which is really cool. So um, what we have is the uh, pickups are coming up and feeding the board here for the front and they're coming up and feeding the board here at the back. So that's what I have drawn out here. And then I have the uh, front and rear um, LEDs drawn here. Current limiting resistor, which is 1.5 K ohm. We have the motor here. Then we have a surprise component here, which I wasn't expecting at all. Um, I thought when I saw this, it's actually this um, black component here. I thought, well, maybe it's a voltage regulator or something. But no, it's actually a, a bridge rectifier. And uh, it's not typically what you would expect in this kind of thing. But apparently it is commonly used. Um, I was looking up schematics online for directional lighting. And this uh, was used in a lot of those schematics. So I'll explain what's going on there. Now, say we want to go uh, forward with the locomotive. So what's going to happen here is current will flow down this way and then back this way to the other rail. So the current will flow this way. It'll flow down here through this trace, and then it'll flow uh, through the current limiting resistor, through the front LED, and then back through uh, the other pickup to the other rail. Uh, now, it will try to flow through uh, the the uh, back LED, but it will be blocked because uh, LEDs are polarity conscious. And uh, this LED won't really light up. Now, a tiny amount of current can still flow this way a little bit, but not enough to light up the uh, the back LED. So that's, that's what's going on there. That's what drives the front LED. Now, what drives the motor is current that flows down this way uh, through the motor plus to minus and then through the bridge rectifier through the shorted outputs on it um, and then back down this way and then through um, here and then to the other uh, to the other rail through there so that's what's driving the motor now Say we want to go in reverse, so current will flow this direction and then back this direction down to the other rail. So um, current will flow this way, it'll flow through the back LED this time, and it'll try to flow through the front. Well, it, it won't really try, it just won't be able to. 
um, but it'll be blocked um, here. That's why that line is there in the LED symbol. So the front LED this time will stay off. The back LED will come on. It'll flow through the current limiting resistor, and then it'll flow up this way down to uh, the other, through the other uh, pickup to the other rail. So that's the circuit that lights up the back LED. Now, current can also flow this way this time for the motor. It can flow this way. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit blurry there. It can flow this way through the bridge rectifier now and then through the shorted outputs down this way. So we make like an X and then uh, it'll flow this way and then this time minus to plus through the motor and then back up this direction down to the other rail. So that's what happens when you go in reverse. And there's also a capacitor here, which I think is for uh, smoothing purposes for the motor. It kind of takes out the transients created by the inductive load on the uh, of the motor. So that's what's going on there. I couldn't really measure it um, in circuit. You would have to desolder it and take it off. So that's why there's a question mark there. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on in this thing. So pretty simple. Once I uh, got it all figured out, I realized how simple it actually was and how much this actually does make sense to use a, a bridge rectifier there. So that's what's going on. I'll probably take a stab at doing my own PCB here. Maybe add some other features for my future layout uh, for, and uh, just do some testing. So I'll keep you updated on how that goes if I make any progress on that. And thanks for making it to the end. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.